Welcome to Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth. And in this video, I'm going to talk about another Fab Filter product called the Pro MB. And what this plugin is, is it's a multi band compressor and it's a very versatile tool. I tend to not use multi band compressors too much just because I have a lack of experience with them. But in playing around with this, I found that it was really easy to kind of get the best out of the track. And for this instance, I just have it on a, on a drum bus of a track and I just wanted to see if I can bring out the kick drum punch a little bit and the snare make it a little more snappier without having to get into the individual tracks. So let me go ahead and just play the track through and then I'll engage the plugin. I'll also bypass the individual bands. For this particular example, I'm just picking a band that's dedicated to the low frequencies. It's basically between 300 and about 75 or 80. I don't know. I just picked that and it seemed like it made sense. And this little mid band um, is somewhere between 1.5 and 5.5 or whatever, 5.7, whatever that looks like. Let me go ahead and play the track. Okay, well, there you have it. That was a simple um, adjustment. I, I brought out the kick a little bit. There's a little more punch in the low end. Um, what I did here, again, I told you the, the frequencies I chose. I just set a little bit of compression here. Um, medium ratio 3.5, medium knee, and just tweaked it a little bit and made it bring out the punch. This band here, the upper for the snare, I did some expansion, just a little, a little bit aggressive and just tweak it and brought out the snare. It sounds really good. It's a very clean adjustment. So sometimes, you know, this is all you need depending on uh, what you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching Inside the Studio with Greg Worth, and please subscribe to the newsletter on my website and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you're subscribed to the newsletter on my website, that'll give you access to custom presets that I've created. And most of the presets that you see in all my previous videos, I've been trying to include them into this um, link that's in the newsletter. So every week when I send out a newsletter, you'll have access to all the new stuff. So thanks again, and I'll check you out next time.